What's up you guys, my name is Hutch, and I still make videos and put them on the internet, although that has not been the case for the last month. And this is some gameplay using the bison, this is like really shortly after the bison got a buff, but it's post buff and then pre nerf. Because they buffed it as far as the range damage multipliers went, and then they nerfed it with regards to the headshot multiplier like really shortly after it got the original buff. And so I had heard that day that um, that the that the gun got a buff and hopped on, and this is like after it's probably like my fifth gameplay using the gun, and it's pretty good gameplay. You guys will see what I'm talking about in a little bit, but uh, that's not what I'm talking about today. I'm not, I'm not talking about bison's and headshots and damage buffs. I'm talking about a little something I like to call anxiety, and I'm not the only person that calls that because it's a pretty general term. But I'm not talking about the kind of anxiety that's like, oh, I hope I did pretty good on that test. Or, um, oh man, I just realized I have to put gas in my car so I might be like five minutes to work and I'm a little afraid of what my boss is going to say to me. That's not the kind of anxiety I'm talking about. The kind of anxiety that I'm talking about and the kind of anxiety that I've experienced from time to time in my life to varying degrees is the kind of anxiety which leads me to do things like not post a video for a month because what happens or what might happen is something might pop up in my life and it might make it really difficult for me to to f not feel distracted or to feel as into the idea of video games and being entertaining as I used to and then one week will turn into two and then two into three and then three into four and then by the end of it I'm just super worried about what everyone's gonna say or think or speculate and then the whole thing feels like this um, heavy load that I just cannot bear. Which all sounds very dramatic. And in, in all honesty, it is. It's very, very dramatic. Most people are not going to give a shit if you don't post a video for a few days and then just hop right back on the train. Um, but that's not the kind of person I am. And that's not the kind of, that's not the kind of way that my brain works. And I want to talk a little bit about that today because... I think that there's other people, well, I know that there's other people out there in the world that experience um, similar kind of ways of thinking and, and negative attitudes and has, has, a, has a sometimes not so profound and sometimes profound effect on their lives, but I'm making this video so that other, other people know that they're not the only ones that have this, this sort of experience. But um, So I'm just kind of generally an anxious person, and looking back, I have to say that I always have been to one degree or another but I didn't really experience it uh, I should say I didn't really notice it until I was about 18 or 19 years old and I think there I, th I think that's kind of all circumstantial because when you're when you're younger and you're in high school or you're maybe younger than that you don't have a whole lot on your plate that would cause the kind of anxiety that I'm talking about like the, the, the most you have to worry about is maybe like Social status, which is a huge deal when you're, when you're that young, like it's it's kind of the world, and that can lead to very stressful situations. But um, and then like kind of doing well in school, like those are the the two big things. And then like family life, everybody's got a family, and hopefully hopefully everyone's got a like a nice family life that lends itself to being you know supportive and bringing out the best in you. But when you get older, 18, 19 years old, and you start to realize that you're you're on your own, and every everyone out there in the world is is on their own, and especially if you don't come from something like privilege or money. And um, when that thought starts occurring to you, when that thought, when that idea really kicks in, that you you are responsible for yourself, and no one no one else is responsible for you, and life is more than just um, you know watching your favorite TV show and like trying to figure out which party to go to on the weekend, it can be a really overwhelming thing to accept. Um, <clears throat> so anyways, I mean, like, I have to say that when, when I look back on my life, I, I can think pretty clearly about it, and I have a pretty good understanding of maybe why I, I'm, I'm predisposed to have sort of an anxious disposition. Um, but the why is not really important. Like, you can sit there and try and figure out which came first, the chicken or the egg, for hours and hours and hours and go back and analyze your life and analyze your childhood and you know figure out how you got to the point that maybe you're at where you're going through some difficulty with something like anxiety but it doesn't really help you it doesn't really help you to have that sort of understanding I mean it might give you some clarity and insight 
about yourself that could help in other ways. But as, as far as actually addressing something like anxiety, it's not really going to do you too much good to try and figure out where that came from. Um, for me, like I, it's it started to it started to really become noticeable when, like I said, I, I became 18, 19 years old, and then you know I, I realized that. Um, that life was not what I had been accustomed to it being and that it was never going to be the same anymore. And then, you know, um, and how it affected me and, and how it affects me to this day and personally and what, what anxiety does to me and um, how it kind of manifests in, in my life is I will think a lot. And the way that I think is like through these um, self-talk kind of conversations. So my thoughts take the form of a conversation with myself up in my head, it'll, it'll just be filled with words and worst case scenarios, and um, I'll I'll basically be oh this fucking stupid part in the map. I hate this. I hate this part. I respect the fact that Infinity War tried to do some new and different things with map design and um, weapons and things like that, but this this whole situation right here, you no, know, it's just a you know good idea in theory, but not not practical, not fun. Take it out. Stupid. Block it off. Put some cardboard on that so people don't fall into it anymore um so anyways what i wanted to tell you guys uh before this video wraps up and the whole point that i was getting at is that um it it it's a it's like for me it's like an obsession of the mind and then coupled with a chemical response in my body that just triggers all kinds of stress hormones so it could be one simple thought for me like oh, i haven't made a video in a few days i hope people don't hate me and are going to chase me off the internet with pitchforks then it turns into, I haven't made a video in a week, everybody hates me. And then after two weeks, it turns into, I haven't made a video in two weeks, everybody hates me, I'm never going to be able to do this for a living again, uh, I'm going to die in the streets homeless and alone. And then by the third week and fourth week, I mean, it just escalates and escalates and escalates. And th this isn't the only thing in my life that's um, like a source of stress for me. There's a lot of other stuff that maybe if I write a book one day, I can tell you guys about all the shenanigans that have been going on in my life lately but some things i just can't really talk about um so yeah uh if you're out there and you experience anxiety i want to say that you are not the only one that does and that it totally sucks um but i have gone through times in my life where it's been pretty debilitating and then i have also gone through times in my life where it's completely under control and manageable and um and uh, if you're out there and you're having a bad day or if you're having a bad time and anxiety is getting the best of you, know that you're not alone. And that's what I have to say to you guys today. I'm going to go play some Magic the Gathering with a friend and drink coffee. Okay, bye.